Why, hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Anime Club. I'm Nick Knack. With me is the Great Lord Warren. Hello, everybody. Realm Shifter. I am here. I exist. Zeki. Hello. <laughs> Sounding uh, kind of meek there, Seki. No, I just. Oh, I think Seki just still... doesn't have it in her to fight today. To fight knickknacks, jabs. I'm still waking up. Understandable. Uh, mm. This week we watched uh, Kaguya Sama Love is War Season 2. Yes. I don't remember if this one. I think that technically all the seasons have like slightly different names. It's not. Te it's like Kaguya Sama Love is War. Question mark, I think, is this season. Yeah, yeah that's but, what it is. Yeah, for yeah. this season in particular. Kaguya-sama, love is war? <laughs> <laughs> is love war? The great eternal question. Yes. <laughs> what was it? There's, there's a fine line between hatred and passion. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> there's a fine line between passion and political corruption. Oh, boy. <laughs> Um, I'm not gonna go. No, I don't want to go down that rabbit hole right now. <laughs> so, um, we've obviously we've already talked about season one way yes. back when. Yes. Um, same animation studio worked on Kaguya-sama season two and season three, so that doesn't change. Same directors. Uh, the producers change between seasons, but not significantly. Um, it's what twelve episodes. Yep. Yeah, twelve episodes. Yeah, it came out in 2020. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. I remember watching this when it came out. Man, it was it was a lot of fun, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I think this season compared to the first season is definitely a hell of a lot more. I want to say linear. Like the first season was almost a collection of vignettes. This season, I think you you feel the passage of time more, and there's definite arcs like within the season itself. Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely, yeah. Um, I think, off the top of my head, like my favorite arc that I alluded to a second ago is the school elect, or one of my favorite arcs is the school election arc. Oh yes, that one was great this season. I love that one so much. Um, I guess just uh, I guess just a little bit like as far as like one of the one of my favorite bits part that was a part of this season. Um, it was the, uh, the whole, like, the game they were playing, the student council, mm. and, uh, Kaguya <laughs> got married off to Chika. That one was hilarious, <laughs> in my opinion. It was a great, great bit. Um. I might be getting ahead of myself here, though. I think I should, we should have brought up what I'm sure is Seki's favorite aspect of his season, the, the, the OP. Daddy, daddy, do. Hoshi inasa. Please don't copyright us. I'm singing off tune so that I like the OP. It's fucking great. Yeah. But I've I've dead ass been like I've been listening to the OP. I think since it came out. Yeah. Like I didn't even watch the the second season when it came out, but the but the opening. Opening. The opening. Like the opening of the of the season is just peak. Oh, it's yes. fucking fire. Yes. It's great. I love it. <laughs> now, yeah. I, I don't think we can really talk a lot, because while this is, like, a technically a chronological series, it's, like, because it's a rom-com and the structure doesn't necessarily take over day by day, it is a bit harder to talk about, about the overarching plot, because not every episode really, I feel like, focuses it on a specifically, and more so focuses on a specific skit, depending on what part of the season we're in. Yeah, I do feel the season does have more of an overarching plot than the last one did, though. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like, but, between the student council election, the sports festival... Yes. And the characters I'm, just have I'm a lot more sure, definitive arcs here. I'm not sure if it's more of an overarching plot, or just more of a plot focused structure is, yeah. is might be because it's it's not an overarching plot it's not something it's not something that's gathering all these arcs together to like make some big commentary at the end based on them it just has more actual arcs than the first season so it's not really an overarching right. plot it's just the presence of more plot in general that requires more than one episode to cover but it's not like a whole series sort of thing, mm -hmm. um, which I would not have liked anyways, because mm -hmm. um, I just, the show doesn't really fit itself to, you know, like a 12 episode overarching plot where all the right. arcs are contributing mm -hmm. to something very specific that'll come out at the end. 
Right. At least in my personal opinion. It yeah, doesn't really this, lend itself to that. Yeah, because I yeah. think the genre of this is either it's seinen, right, technically? Or is it shonen? It's shonen, I think. I, I remember reading the wiki. I thought it said same. Uh, I could be wrong. Psychological rom com slice of life. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah, I knew the, sli- the, sli- the, slice, the slice of life aspect I kind of knew. Um, does, it, does it distinguish the demographic or anything? Well, no, that's a genre. No, because technically, um, shonen and shoujo aren't used for demographic anymore. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Un- unfortunately, while well, Jose and Seinen are still technically demographics and also genres, Shonen and shoujo have become more analogous with sort of genres than they have demographics per se. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and even on like Jose and Shonen, um, you only put that in the you you do put it in the genre list, but you only really put it in the genre list if you're really intending it get to that audience. Otherwise, mm-hmm. you just label it with genres like normal. That's fair enough. Yeah. Anyways, um, but yeah, kind of going back to the slice of life thing. This has a very. Um, Nichijo esque structure to it, that one anime, where it's very um, chaotic and things kind of just happen almost. Mm. So I, I think that that's probably the best like comparison, like as far as like what I kind of see in this anime. There are like something, there are some more things that do kind of go on overall, like for example, the student council election. Mm. Um, and them, like, actually being in the process of, oh, they're going to actually graduate at some point. They're not always just going to be here. Mm. So, there there are some actual, like, overarching things, and there is some good time progression in this, but I do think that overall the, the closest comparison I can give to this as far as, like, other shows is this almost a Nichijou-esque structure with its, uh, with its episode pacing, where kind of random events are just happening while the plot overall is just moving forward. Which I think is a good way to go about it, because it, it makes it feel more organic in a way, because, you know, that's it's kind of how you, you spend your uh, most of your days, you just kind of, kind of dicking around while you're in school and everything. And then time just kind of passes you by. So, I like that aspect of it, actually. Yeah, that kind of actually fits the best mm-hmm. for uh, a <clears throat> slice of life and romance, for sure, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And personally, my favorite episode was the shoujo manga episode with the man horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Because that one was, had the two different skits in it. First was the, the underwear, what kind of underwear do you wear, right? And then yeah. the other one was the, oh, I'm going to give you this manga. That. And then everything got all shoujo for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> for a little while. Nice little tonal shift right there. Uh-huh. But, like, all technically all of the episodes this time had multiple skits per episode. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Because they're all ranging between three to four skits per episode. Some of them had, like, more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know. They they were... They were they used the, the time that they have for the skits very efficiently, which is nice, because it means that the episodes are never boring. There's always something happening. I'd love to watch someone watch this skit by skit. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's, over the over the course of, like, four months or something. Right. Skit by skit. Every day a new skit. Yeah. 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 That That's prob... I mean, that's... You know what it reminds me a little uh, bit of? What? Fudanchi Koko Sekatsu. Uh, season one, that yes. average life of the high school fudanchi. Yeah, the little shorts. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Just a little bit in terms of like tone and and kind of like all the different shorts and stuff, um, and you know the absolute fucking ridiculous rom com aspect of it. Oh yeah, absolutely. I did like actually seeing the other side of uh, I. Uh, oh, Hayasaka. Yeah. Hayasaka. Hayasaka is like the goat in this season. <laughs> that, that, yeah. was, that, that was kind of like what I, I understood because like that was when this season came out, that was what everyone on fucking at the time Twitter was raving about. It was how Hayasaka was the goat nah, in this season. It's still Twitter. We do not indulge that man's fantasies. Yeah. Well, that's, that's what I mean. It was Twitter and it, it still is. I don't understand the dude name. It makes no sense to me. Anyways, that's another tangent. I completely missed that happening. Anyways, that's another (laughs) tangent, and we're not getting into that this episode. Um, So, uh, shit, what was I saying? Oh, yes. So, Hayasaka was uh, kind of considered the goat by many people of this season. And to be honest, I do like Hayasaka's character in this. 
But, and hot take, I don't think that she was the main focus of this season. <laughs> oh, I mean, no, she wasn't. Not. Yeah. Hmm. Yes. Like, I, she's not my personal favorite character of the season. Yes. But... So, uh, some malding Twitter users out there will claim blasphemy upon my name. So, you know what? Whatever. Um, I mean, to be fair, this entire season is just one big L. Since we didn't get another Abominable Snowman appearance. Like, where, where is my fucking Yeti, you cowards? Bring back my fucking Yeti. And I searched... Because I barely caught him the first time. Damn. And I will not be invalidated for my catching of the Yeti. <laughs> no <laughs> Yeti for you. L. L. <laughs> Biggest L. We're, although, taking, we're taking all the L's this yeah. season. Although I will say, my man, uh, Ishigami. Ish Ishigami right there. Oh, yeah. Being oh, the yeah. man's a man's. Yes. <laughs> I love his, like, Th that entire last arc focusing on him was like, mm, mm, golden. Yeah. Mm, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah. Like I love that the the student council as a unit. I feel like more so in season one feels a lot more. You get you get a better idea in the season. I feel like of the relationships between them. Yeah. Mm. And like. Ishigami especially was always kind of the in season one he was always kind of the the, the the other guy he wasn't that big of a deal in season one like everyone would talk about Chika and Kaguya in season one yeah yeah but here Ishigami really gets to stand out and kind of shine in his own way which yeah. is nice and then you kind of get and then it helps that he also has like another supporting character in um who was it what was her what was the little short hair girl's name or the uh, short girl's name Oh, um, yeah. the the girl that was introduced during the the student council election. Yeah. Uh, gosh, actually, I like her. Me, 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 no. Or is it me? No, I think it's Seki about to check this for us. What am I checking? Miko. New student. Yeah, Miko. Thank you, Miko. Seki totally checked out of the conversation that we were trying to have. Still manages to somehow come back Still and Still manages to come back and out. save it. Which, I don't know why I didn't remember. Miko Ino is my, like, authoritarian daughter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she she is very... Miko is also a, a very fun character. And it, it really helps to see, like, kind of uh, her and Ishigami's dynamic. Mm -hmm. And you, you get the sense, like, they, I mean, they've had some the, some history and everything like that, but their their relationship definitely develops, and it's it's hilarious to see. Oh yeah, most definitely. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> Although, uh, Shurigane's uh, father, right there. Oh, oh man, yeah. Oh man, daddy, daddy issues. <laughs> <laughs> Here they're gonna stay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, my. Oh, my. Uh, oh, my. It does really true. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I can't think of, like, what's I, the, the best, uh, best scene with him, though. So, remember, remember that, um, anime, we, Amagi Brilliant Park. Remember yeah, how, yeah, like, yeah. Let, like, the last episode was basically just, like, a commercial for, like, the show or whatever? Mm -hmm. uh, love, love how we end, uh, this season. With a fucking advertisement <laughs> skit. Yeah. Which one was it? What was it advertising? The the pamphlet that the that the the headmaster is getting them is getting them to take photos for the pamphlet for the school. Oh, I uh, I think that was the OVA. I never watched that. It's episode twelve. Is it? Oh my god. Let me see. Let me just double check here. Maybe I'm just missing, because it's been a couple months on this one. Because I'm guessing this was probably the first one that you ended up watching. Yeah. Oh, wait, does it, the the smartphone. Yeah. Right? Never yeah. mind, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. the smartphone part sticks oh, yeah, out more than the pamphlet part. Oh, yeah, this, this yeah. isn't, yeah, No, this but I was, that, you yeah. know, like like another show recently, we end with the advertising skit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought that episode, like, I thought the smartphone bit was actually really touching, though. Mm. Yeah. Like, the, the all of my memories were on this one device. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really really brings you back to phones pre-cloud storage, doesn't it? Yeah. I know. Because I, I, know, I right? still have, like, my last, like, four phones in boxes in this room because mm. they, they have photos on them that I never transferred forward. Right. 
because I've, I've just been lazy and I, re I really should get off my ass and transfer mm -hmm. those photos, but mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, you're right. Ooh, what about like during that time where uh, you did actually, what was it? Uh, there was no expandable storage, so you actually had to kind of keep your phone if you wanted your stuff, really? Yeah, uh, I think that was my last two phones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just couldn't, because I have expandable storage in this phone. I've got mm -hmm. 500 gigabytes up yeah. top. Of which I'm only using like a hundred and something of at the moment. Mm -hmm. mm. Unfortunately, iPhones don't. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I got this because it had expandable storage. I don't even like the phone. Mm -hmm. I kind of hate it, but it has storage, so. Right. Mm. That's, a, uh, that's a mood. Uh. Yeah. And <laughs> I refuse to pay a fucking subscription for a cloud service to oh, hell. keep my shit. Yeah. I mean, I, I want that either. stuff on an SD card. <laughs> I want it on a hard drive. Real. Uh. <laughs> and this is the reason why I transfer all my stuff onto my computer. Yeah. Too lazy. Yeah. I want to just keep it on my phone. It's mm. fine. It's fine. Yeah. Just have to try uh, really hard not to lose my phone. Right. <laughs> Ever again. You uh you accidentally throw it in the vulgar? Yeah, vulgar. Nah, oh god, I would I would just die. I would just die. <laughs> I would simply perish. <laughs> well, anyways, uh Back on topic, I suppose. Do we have anything else to say about any of the other characters? Well, any other skits? There's the Chica training arcs. Yes. Chica. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Remember, Chica is best girl. <laughs> chica, 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 Chica. Mm. There was a disturbing lack of Chica dance. I needed 300% more. I know, right? <laughs> Their big uh, Saku, I don't know if it's Saku is the right term for it, moment in the season's act. They, it's not the Chica dance, it's the. Uh, like when Kog is trying to find her, uh, the calming, uh, yeah, the calming thing. position. It just happens to be the one that Shirogane hates the most. <laughs> <laughs> like the one he fears deeply and traumatically. No. I mean, it is deathly scary. <laughs> I just, I need more chica dance. I know, right? I, I was robbed of chica dance presence. I know, right? Chica, I mean, other than Chica's training arcs, we 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 really needed more dancing. We needed more Chica. Exactly. She needed to be the main there, character. You can, you can never have enough. Just Chica. whole ass I, the I, main I, character. I, I want. A, I need a spinoff. Yes. Where Chica is the main character. This message was yes. brought to you by the Miko Eno Foundation. <laughs> <laughs> Kaguya-sama, love is war, Chica. Yes. Give me a Chica. Season one through fifty-seven. <laughs> Give, give me a Chica spinoff, please. Just follow Chica around with a camera, <laughs> vlogging her life. <laughs> this is what I need. I'm trying to remember. Is this like the first time we see the sisters, or is this not? Which sister? Uh, Chica sisters. Oh yeah, we did see them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so. Because yeah. I, I don't think we saw them in season one. Mm. I need a decom. We also, Chica we also and get her to family. See. We also get to see uh, Shirogane's sister this season. Yeah, as well. we got to Lynn. see a lot of family. Yeah. yeah. But then again, we had events that, you yeah. know, lent towards showing off family and stuff. Yeah. Um, which was fun. Mm -hmm. Although, I'm, I'm going to be real. I did, well, fucking. I am starting to get sick and tired of school festivals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm really starting, you know? I mean, that's I, mean fine, I know it's a staple. I know it's something that happens in every school life anime. I am. Y'all need to really fucking impress me with a goddamn festival episode at this point. I know, right? Like, I need something impressive. And it can't just be, oh, no, we need someone to be in a play. I know, right? Mm. God. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that also might be because you actually had to plan your own event. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fucking, fucking event planning. Goddamn bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> Stupid ass. Bullshit. I Never hate again. it. Never again. But yeah, I don't... It's been a while since we'd really watched, like, kind of school-focused. I mean, like, we'd watched some stuff that had, like, people in the same demographic. But, like, it had been, like, a hot minute since we watched, like, just a normal school slice of life show yeah. yeah so it's a little weird to come back to school life <laughs> shows after so long mm -hmm. like didn't we just watch like I'm, i don't even remember the name of it oh my go back for the list uh -oh. well, because i'm i'm like i'm trying to think maybe maybe i'm just forgetting because of how long it was bad like i didn't like it like mm. 
Oh, I guess the dangers in my heart was a school thing. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that was. Wasn't also, um, no, that one I liked. There was another one we watched more recently than that. Hmm. Was, uh, oh, was it fucking Oreshira? That one. That one. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'll be honest, I'm yeah. blocking that out of my mind. Yes, understandably. <laughs> it's, ro- it's rotten to the core. Really? Yeah. The difference between this and the other two that we watched is I like the other two. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think I've blocked it out fully. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I probably have. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, I. Mm, yeah, I guess it's it's not fair to say we haven't watched just like a normal school life recently, but I. <sighs> One that excited us like this is uh, yeah. been a while. Right. I don't know. The vibe is just different. Yes. Vibe check passed here. Vibe check did not pass on our last couple no, school shows. No. no. I like dangers well, in my well, heart. Da- dangers, well, for you it didn't pass, I don't think. For me, dangers in my heart didn't yeah. pass super well. Yeah. So. so, but for, I think for, at least for me, Nick Knack and uh, Vorn, the... Uh, dangers in my heart at least somewhat passed. It wasn't that bad. Yeah. 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 This is definitely better, though. But this, yes, Kaguya definitely has mm-hmm. the formula down to a much better degree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, do we have um, anything else to add? Yeah. We have Waifu Wars. Oh, yes, yeah. we well, do. Well, also, I wanted to mention, I don't, there's not been, um, there's not, there's not really an animation difference to this season. Mm. Um, not, not, not in my opinion, opinion really. at least. Not really. Yeah. I just yeah. figured I'd mention it because you know, different seasons. Sometimes mm-hmm. you get like. Sometimes you, you get know. a wild different mm-hmm. quality, like One Punch Man season two. Yeah. <laughs> I like uh, the bad thing. I don't think Kaguya Samalova's War was a particularly badly animated season to begin with. No, no. Yeah. Just thought I'd bring it up. Um, also, the ED. Uh, I don't even really remember it at this point. <laughs> it's okay. Daddy, Daddy, Do was too dominant. <laughs> yeah, Daddy, Daddy, Do was yeah. really good. Ed, I remember. One ED, and that's just because it was the joke ED. The the mm. after the Chica training arc, they did one ED that was just sword on sword on. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. All right, so waifu wars. Wait, yeah. hold on. Oh, I'm trying to remember. Did they have the same guy do all the openings for Kaguya? Yes. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. All even, the openings are done by the same. Guy. Even season four, right now, that's airing. There's no season four airing yeah. right now. No, there is a season, season one out. to three, and then there's a movie that got split into a little mini season. Yeah. Ah, okay, I see. Yeah. So that's, yeah. What, that's what the season four on yeah. Crunchyroll is. Yeah. Yeah, but that guy's funky. <laughs> I still I still need to watch this, but I will watch that at the later date. Dude. I mean, we'll probably watch it for the club. I, I mean, I, I I would rather watch it just on my own time, because mm-hmm. this, this season deserves my attention at the very least, so. Yeah. Yeah. So... Uh. So waifu wars? Yeah. Waifu wars. Waifu wars. Waifu wars. Knickknack. Ishigami. <laughs> like Ishigami this season is by like from like that his entire arc hit me on an emotional level. Yeah. It, it, it I thought I was fine. I thought I was going to be okay going into it the second time. No, no, no. His arc still got me the second time. Just his entire, like, the, that entire moving on from, like, past trauma. That was, that, 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 that was, that was good for me. Really good. I understand. Realm. Chica. Absolutely. Yeah. As Kaguya made the joke, the beast of carnal desire. <laughs> Born. Hi, Sokka. But also, uh, Shurigane's dad. <laughs> Chica. Chica. The Chica Chica. Love Chica. Oh, yes. <laughs> no one will ever beat Chica for me. Yeah, same. Never. Never. Uh, oh. I have any recommendations? I mean, we, I've kind of already listed some of them throughout the episode while we were men- while we were mentioning it. Like, Nichi Joe, I think, is a pretty good fitting, though it's not specifically a, a rom-com. It is still very much a comedy. Yeah, anime. Yeah. So yeah. if you like if you like the more comedy aspect, I think you'll like Nichi Joe. What? I mean Sakamoto Deska. If you're wanting comedy, really, go watch Oshino Ko. It's nothing like this show, but it's part of the Kaguya Sama Love Is War cinematic universe. <laughs> 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 Shame, oh. Shameless plug for the Oshino Ko stand. Uh. 
I'm, I'm, I don't watch many school lives anymore on my own. I'm going to be real. So I don't, mm. I mean, if you don't have one, that's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just hard to think of any. I mean, I've you gave one recently. earlier this uh, recording. You pretty much gave Sakuma. Me. It was, no. Was no, no, no. Fudanchi. Oh, yeah. Oh, Fudanchi, yeah. Fudanchi yeah. Koko Sekatsu. Yeah. yeah. Everyone should watch Fudanchi Koko Sekatsu. <coughs> it only takes like 45 minutes to watch the whole series. Yeah. For, like beginning to end. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um. What the koi? Oh, oh, yeah, what the yeah. boy is. It's, actually it's not school cool. life, but it's got pretty much the same vibe. Yeah. yeah. Just, it's just, just work, like work adults. It's just workplace life instead yeah. of school life. Yeah. yeah. What the koi would be nice. Yeah. yeah. I actually um, have watched both the koi already, so that one is a pretty good one. Eh? Monthly Girls Nozaki Kun. Hmm. I haven't watched that one. Yeah. I did watch that recently, yeah. and it's actually yeah. pretty funny. And I think it, it's pretty good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Any, any, clo any closing thoughts, or are we good? I don't have any closing thoughts. That's yeah. that's just me. Yeah. Um. I'm good. Uh, so, let's get ready for craziness of next season. Yes. <laughs> oh, the next uh, the oh, next yeah. season. I love yeah. the next yeah. season. That said, this season Holy is like one of my favorite seasons of anime of all Holy time. Holy so. shit! That's Kaguya all I can say. Season, is I... Kaguya season three. It was. It was season two that cemented Kaguya mm. as one of my favorite animes. Kaguya season three makes me giggle like a little squirrel girl. <laughs> have you seen that one yet? Yes, I have. <laughs> why didn't I talk to you about it then? <laughs> why didn't you talk to me about because it Because we never know what Realm is watching. That is true. He just shows up and says, ooh, I've seen that. And we go, what? Okay. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I just randomly decide I want to binge this. And then it just happens. There's like an entire episode I watched that I, uh, I've been sitting on for like two years now that I've been like, I need to rant about this with somebody. But here is not the place. Yeah, here is yeah. not the place because we are still recording. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, like, never, never expect the expected from Realm. Yeah, man, just turns up with shit we've never heard of. I just literally and shit we do have heard of. I literally just disappear into the void for like months at a time, and then and... appears having watched anime. Some of it's on topic. Some of it is just anime. Yes, exactly. It, it's really hit or miss for me. You never know. Yeah, like, like you, you can look at a like a set of a set of shows coming out, right? And you could tell what Nick Nack's going to be watching. You could tell what Vorn's going to be watching. You could tell what I'm going to be watching. You can never tell what Realm will be watching. <laughs> you can I never tell what I'm going to be watching, but that's for a different reason. That's for the reason of, oh, I'm going to be watching that well, no, two no, months no, no, in and no. I don't watch it. No, 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 no. You can tell. We can tell what you would be watching if you had the disposable time. Yeah. yeah. Right? Because yeah. it's the same with me. Just because I want to watch it doesn't mean I get to. But, like, never tell what Realm's planning to watch. Because I fully believe that Realm just goes on, like, any anime website, mm. clicks <coughs> randomize, and then watches the show. Is that still a button on Crunchyroll? I don't think so, but I wish it was. Hey, I mean, um, I do just, uh, I literally do just go on Crunchyroll, and then I will just start watching something sometimes. Yeah, so th I, we need to bring back the randomize button on Crunchyroll, y'all. <laughs> like, we need, we also need to bring it back on the Tortuga websites for manga. Mm. Like, I need the button where I click it, it just randomly gives me a manga with no context mm. no to context. anything I've read. face first into a random gun them spin off <laughs> exactly yeah i need the random button back mm. I, I i like being the wild card of the group you can never predict what i'm going to watch yeah. <laughs> no i think more what you are is the uncle who travels the world and then just comes back that one family event and brings a whole bunch of just weird souvenirs for you pretty much but like the souvenirs are like weird <laughs> really really eccentric like I just brought back a, a gift from a, from Egypt, and I think it might be cursed. Kind or of like, weird. here's this random plant stem. Yes, exactly. It yeah. looked cool. It, it looked cool. I don't know what it does. Turns out it's a carnivorous pitcher plant if you grow it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the vibe. Yes. Here's um, this cursed Mayan doll who was also owned by an Egyptian man. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, we don't. We don't trade in black market antiquities, people. We don't trade in black market antiquities. I cast the curse of Ra upon you. <laughs> <laughs> that one hurts, Seki. Yes. <laughs> don't care. You're curse of Ra. <laughs> Irregardless, uh, we random pulled for the next anime we're watching. 
it came out. It was mine. But it's not fairy tale, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, it's Trigun Stampede. Woo! Um, for those of you who might be curious, we do actually have regular Trigun in the hat too, but they're separate enough series that I felt comfortable putting them in as two separate things. Mm. So Trigun can come out, like it might come out mm. in the future, but yes. we're watching Stampede first, which might honestly cross over to the original Trigun, but you know, we'll we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so like, comment, subscribe. Mm -hmm. Do all that good stuff. Fry harder, everyone. <laughs>